specifically, of course, uh, the sentencing of Sandile Manzwe. And uh, there are some of the tweets. Mongani Mukwena there says it was supposed to be a life sentence, uh, referring, of course, to the 32 years. Uh, what is the difference between him and Oscar Pistorius before the eyes of the law shows money overpowers justice? Uh, says one tweet, uh, hashtag Karabu Mukwena, difference between Sandile and Oscar is Oscar acknowledged that he killed Riva and he was remorseful from the start. He called the ambulance, etc. Sandile is in denial and ag- arrogant, didn't admit to anything and shifted the blame to the deceased. I'm not sure if everyone will agree with a remorseful Oscar there. Uh, Rilebukhile says uh, he deserves a life sentence because he killed her on purpose and the worst part is that he shows no remorse. Banele uh, on the same theme, men can we please start being physically active against women abuse. Enough is enough. All we do is we comment on Twitter but nothing is done physically. The time is uh, the time to act is now. If you know of any abusers please report regardless of whether or not it's your friend. That's a sentiment expressed there by Banele. And of course, weighing in is Figil Mbalula, the former minister, and now ANC elections uh, chief. A young woman left her boyfriend, who later killed her for help for leaving him. To those who always ask, why don't you just leave him? Responsibility is never on the victims of abuse, but it weighs on us men. Sometimes women stay in relationships to protect themselves against you. Uh, those are the sentiments that we are seeing on Twitter around this. Uh, obviously, some discussion and some education, I suppose, uh, needs to be had around what a life sentence actually means uh, so that we can at least clear up some of the confusion. That's what's on Twitter.